hello everyone so today i am going to work on this when i select some actors characters here now you see this icon appears here so this will this is happening dynamically here if i select an actor here we see uh, a list of buildings that this character can build right now it's just houses that that's all we have but the system supports building different types of buildings as well so here i can play place the building so here it becomes red if it is not a valid place that we can place the building so if it is not red that means i can place it so yeah that's what we are going to do today if i select the character the supported buildings will appear here all right so before we get started here is the full playlist you can watch everything from here and start implementing from scratch everything you see in this uh, tutorial and also this is another strategy series that i did but here i have been using blueprints here i was mostly using c so if you are more interested in blueprints check this out and also finally the project files are available here once you become a member you can access everything without any limits so there are over 2000 videos for each video project files are available so, right now let's get back to today's tutorial okay so yesterday we did this here we have by default the icon for a house and we can place it but now instead of just hard coding it there i want it to appear when i select the characters the buildings that these characters can build should appear here just like in edge of advice or any other i don't know any other real-time strategy games that is in similar style so for that the first thing we should do is yeah. let's go back to our c plus plus project to the base spawn interface not the c plus plus file the header file here let's add the u function to get building options and this should return an array of classes this uh, from the type clm base building because that's the uh, clm base building is the uh, parent of all the buildings that i'm going to have so we want this sub class of CLM CLM based building and let's call it get build And here we go to error. So I'll forward define this class. I don't want to include the header file here. Okay, and now we can implement this in our base form. Here. I'll do it here. I already got the suggestion so this now we need to implement this but here what i want to return is the build uh, uh, an array of the classes of the buildings that this character can build so to define that i'll add an array first um it should be material right yeah 
build options okay now if i implement this i can return that array Now let's go here and compile. Okay, successful. Let me open part. And here we already have this uh, refresh selection function, which will be called. This is bound to the on actor selected dispatcher on the player controller. So whenever I select an actor this event will be fired this function will be fired so here i'll add another function let me define it like this function let's call it uh, Yeah, right now we can run a storage loop on these actors, and then for each actor, we can run get build options, and then we can run another storage loop because I may have selected multiple characters so if i have multiple characters i need to determine all the build types that the selection can build and i have to i need to show all of them so that's why i'm doing this and here i'll promote this to another local variable all building options all build options A local array and I'll do a add unique add to this class so that this will not be duplicated by doing this and after everything is done we can run another for each loop for all the build options available and we have to add a button to this section for each build option now i don't need this anymore this is the hard-coded one so delete this no i'll leave it just for now and here for each build option i need to it widget and the widget type is action one and here right now i don't think i have an initialization function here I don't. so let's add one All right. now this should all i need for now is this what's the class this button can build so let me promote this to a variable build option. just call it build option okay that oh this became an actor so this should be you see lm lm base built in okay can i now still can't Mm -hmm. no. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
to okay all good now here all i'm gonna do is set build option okay then here we have initialize action the building class and this should be added as the child of action so and child of box So right now I didn't, I haven't written a clearing function to clear the buttons when I, maybe let's just do that here. Get the action file. Okay, I think it should be good. So right now nothing shows up here. Let me delete this one. Actually the function is working. That's why it was cleared up. So why are we not seeing anything? Because we didn't add any build option to these characters. So here if I search build options, it's empty array. Now here I'll add BPCLM base building okay now I play and select now see the house icon appears here and I can place it and if I haven't selected any character if I deselect the characters you see the button goes away if, even if I select multiple characters only this option only one option is there because that's the only type of the building we can right now we have so yeah the other thing is now i want to have different types of buildings so for each different building we need to have a different icon right now i don't have such a mechanism in place maybe we should introduce a data table that include all the data such as the icon of the building that we need to place so the icon of that building will appear in the action panel but we will look into those things in upcoming episodes and also consuming resources when we need to build something all right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye